Okay, so in this video, we will solve a combined gas law problem. Um, this is a problem that we will solve. So in order to create this combined gas law, it's essentially Boyle's law, Gay-Lussac's law, and Charles' law combined into one equation. This equation is useful if there's maybe like two changes. And so for in our case, in our problem, two things are changing, and we're trying to find one thing. We're trying to find pressure. For example, volume is changing and final temperature is changing. And so let's just quickly look through our equation. So everything essentially is the same from what we've done earlier with Boyle's Law, Gay-Lussac's Law, and Charles' Law. An important restriction is that temperature has to be an absolute temperature, so it needs to be in Kelvin. And so now, let's try this problem. So a sample container contains a gas at 10 liters, volume, initial pressure of 2 atm, pressure, and initial temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. So we know all of this information right here. The container is compressed, so the, container, the volume is going to decrease, and heated up, so temperature is going to increase, causing the volume to be 5 liters and temperature to be 150 degrees Celsius. We want to determine final pressure of the gas. So let's write down what we have. So we have pressure is 2 atms, 2 atms. Uh, next is uh, initial volume, which is 10 liters. This is going to be divided by absolute temperature. Very important, absolute temperature. So you can say 100 plus 273.15. This now becomes in Kelvin. By adding 273.15 to Celsius, it becomes Kelvin. And now this is going to equal. Now what do we know? We do not know the final pressure. That's what we're solving for. So we can say X. Uh, we know final volume, and final volume is 5 liters, and we know final temperature is 150 degrees Celsius, which again, we need to convert to Kelvin, absolute temperature. So we get 150 plus 273.15, and so this now becomes Kelvin. So now we need to rearrange this equation to get X. X is equal to, so this part remains the same, so 2 times 10 divided by 373.15 uh, parentheses parentheses so this piece right here is now going to the numerator this piece right here is going to the numerator so we would get uh, 150 plus 273.15 so 150 plus 273.15 and now this piece, this 5, is going to the denominator. The 5 is going to the denominator. So we can put a 5 right here. And if you multiply and divide everything out, you would get 4.59 ATMs. And that's all we need to do to solve this combined gas law problem.